if you had a time machine, would you go back in time and murder Hitler when he was just a young artist in order to prevent the Holocaust from happening? That is a question that researchers recently asked more than 6,000 people to determine whether there were gender differences between moral reasoning and whether or not there were gender differences in logical reasoning. What they found was that there was a difference in the moral reasoning of men versus women. The researchers found that women tended to be less likely to want to murder Hitler. They described this in philosophical terms, saying that women tended to be deontologists, meaning that they placed more emphasis on the morality of the action that they would be performing, making them less likely to kill Hitler, while men tended to be more like utilitarians in that they place more emphasis on the overall good that would be caused by them performing whatever action they were going to perform, meaning that men were more likely to want to kill Hitler. It's worth noting that the other characteristic they tested, which was whether or not there was a gender difference in rational reasoning, found absolutely no difference between men and women. Though they tended to choose different actions, both men and women were equally rational about their choices and understanding the eventual consequences of those choices. But to get back to the whole Hitler killing thing, you might be aware that this is just a clever play on the traditional trolley problem, which is now a pretty well-known uh, philosophical issue. The idea is there is a trolley that is about to uh, murder five people, but you have a chance to flip a switch and the trolley will go onto a different track and only murder one person. Do you flip the switch? And past studies have shown that about 90% of people in that circumstance say that they would flip the switch. In other words, 90% of all people would be utilitarian. So this new study is a bit different because it's showing that many more women would not choose to flip the switch in that case. The problem with both the trolley and the time machine are that these situations are so completely impossible and divorced from our everyday activities that it's impossible to really say whether or not subjects' answers to them uh, really have any relevance to their real lives. In fact, just last year, some psychologists published a paper criticizing the trolley problem and stating that one of the huge problems is that the more absurd and sort of funny the scenario is, the more it becomes divorced from the subject's real life and the less you can trust the subject's answer. So in this case, maybe researchers using an even more absurd example and something that has become something of a joke in recent years, the idea of killing Hitler using a time machine, may have, uh, unknowingly to the scientists, made the subjects less likely to be really honest about what they would do in a real-life moral quandary. In fact, instead of showing that men tend to be utilitarian and women tend to be deontological in their everyday lives, there's a good chance that this study really just shows that when it comes to an absurd situation, both men and women fall back on stereotypes, those being that men are more likely to take the colder but more violent path, while women tend to worry more about the direct consequences of killing someone. As for me, uh, if I had a time machine and I could go back in time and see Hitler as a little kid, I would probably just get him some art lessons and some hardcore sensitivity training because I feel like that should work. If the sensitivity training doesn't work, then yeah, I would absolutely shoot that motherfucker in the face. <laughs>